Eric Ripper has cemented his position as leader of the Labor Party, at least for now. As tipped on Nine News last night, his young challenger, Ben Wyatt, today pulled out of the leadership race. As backdowns go, it doesn't get much bigger than this. Less than 48 hours after announcing he'd challenge Eric Ripper for the Labor leadership, Ben Wyatt today pulled out of the race. Is this embarrassing for me? Yeah, I guess it is. The Victoria Park MP admits he pulled out because he would have been comprehensively beaten by his older, more experienced opponent. The reason he couldn't win, he just didn't have the numbers. Look, I was wrong. Whether I was politically naive is up to you to make those comments, and no doubt you will. Yes, uh, I'm now eating that humble pie. That left Mr Ripper looking like the cat that got the cream. Well, Ben Wyatt has made a political mistake, and that tells against him. Uh, but Ben's got a long career in Labor politics, and he'll certainly live this down. And this crack at those who egged Mr Wyatt on. Well, I think Mr Wyatt was poorly advised, and I, I think one of the things that he needs to reflect on is uh, taking advice from a wider circle of people uh, before he takes a significant political action. Mr Wyatt's offered his resignation as Shadow Treasurer, but Mr Ripper says his preference is for his young MP to remain on the front bench. The two will have a discussion next week about what role he may fill. There's no doubt the failed challenge has strengthened Mr Ripper's leadership, at least in the short term. Ben Wyatt's now given him a commitment he won't challenge again before the next election, which may not be until 2013. Jessica Strutt, Nine News.